How I win at the casino. In this video, let's talk about different ways of winning at the casino. My trip yesterday and more coming up right after this. Hey guys, glad to be back. I have been out of commission too long now. That being under the weather is for the birds. I was invited on a casino trip on Saturday, but I decided I did not want to pass this flu bug on to any of my friends. So to be sure, I stayed home, wishing I was there with them. Come Sunday, I decided to take a bus trip by myself. So I will try to show you as much of that as I can. But first, I always have a but first. Okay, let me say, I have no system. I have nothing for sale. I play a number of different styles at different times. I try to check out as many different systems as I can and sometimes adopt a little bit from each one. For me, it depends a lot on what's on the scoreboard. I have an idea to do a video of some of the different styles and systems and methods and crazy things that I've done over time. Some worked and some didn't. Also, what works for one person doesn't usually work for someone else. I have been hearing about a few people having some uh, pretty good success with flat betting. That would be the cat's meow if we could get it working on a consistent basis. For now, back to my Sunday bus trip. First off, they give me $20 free slot play for taking the bus there. Two of us have been pretty lucky playing this uh, free slot play. But here's what happened when I played the free $20 slot play by myself. Soon as I got there, I put $10 in one of my favorite slot machines. And this is what happens. It gave me a couple of 20 or 60 cent wins and on about the sixth click lights started flashing and bells started ringing so I got out my phone and this Couple more free ones now. Okay, I only have one speed round. Let's see what happens. Last game. And give us a free one. Oh. When I was finished with my first $10 slot play money, I had $105.05. I did play the other $10 free slot play a little later in the day and completely bombed. I ended up with a total of $1.62 from that $10. For a total from my free slot play was $106.67. Okay, over to the Baccarat tables. I took a picture of the shoes that the casinos around me are all put putting in now. I consider these all crooked. My opinion only, but why are the shoes all black now? They used to be a clear plastic, so you could see the cards inside. 
Why are they a whole lot bigger now? Do they need room for changing the order of the cards inside? Just a thought. My thought. Why is there now computer wires running out the back of the big shoe? I don't want the shoe reading the cards before they come out of the shoe. And why should they? All this is my own personal opinion. No proof, no science, no nothing. My personal opinion. I like clear shoes with no wires. It makes me feel better. I should tell you that all three of the bigger casinos around me have all been bought up lately by larger companies or corporations. And this is what I'm getting now. I don't like it or trust it. Maybe I'm going to have to start traveling a little further to find casinos that I do like. I was watching a couple of the online Baccarat casinos and they had clear shoes and the cards were not read until they were out of the shoe. Nice clear shoes, no computer wires running out the back of the shoe. They even shuffled the cards right in front of you, not hidden under the table. No, I'm not in favor of online gambling, but I am going to check them out a little better now. At least they are not being so obvious, like what my brick and mortar casinos are being right now. Boy, I've got to get off the soapbox here. Like I said, only my opinion, no proof of anything. Take it with a grain of salt. I played a couple of hands of I Bet You Can't Lose watching the board before I played. Only up $50 more. I quit and started watching for what ifs. Lately I've been kind of sold on a couple different hit and run systems. So I spent quite a bit of time watching and saying to myself, what if I bet here? What if I bet this system or what if I bet that system? I know hit and run is not very popular, but I keep winning with it and that's hard to knock. I find that most of the Baccarat players that I know or have met along the way, they have their own little twists and twerks of whatever system they are using. And that seems to be what makes it for them. Everyone knows there is no system that is fail proof, but with a close eye and your own little twists, some do pretty good. I hope I have not been too depressing this time. It's still a great game. One last statement. Get greedy and it will bite you. Hope I will be back a little sooner next time. I plan on going to some more casinos again. This flu bug kind of shut me down, but things are looking better now. So back at you later, guys.